Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. We've finished everything about IP addressing and subnetting. And if you're like me, and not very good at maths, you're probably going to be glad to hear that. Don't worry, everything else that we're going to cover is not maths based and you're not going to be having to count anything up in your head. Everything else that you're going to get tested on is about the different features that are available, what they do, how to configure them, and how to troubleshoot them. But if you are not sure about subnetting, you want some more practice with that, then there are some good resources that I've put on the screen for you here. So let's have a look at these. The first is subnettingquestions.com. So I'll click on the link here. And what this is, it's a website that has questions, the same type of questions that you could see on the CCNA exam. And every time you refresh it, it will come up with a new question. For example, what's the first valid host in the subnet that the node 192.168.2.5 slash 27 belongs to? Another one which is similar is www.subnetting.org. It's the same kind of thing. Every time you refresh, it will give you a new question. Again, the same type of question, and it's really variations on everything that we covered earlier in this course. So you should be confident that you can answer any of these questions now. So check the question. When you figured it out, you can click on Reveal Answer. It tells you the answer, and then you can go on to the next question. So this is really good for practicing subnetting. And again, if you're like me, you're not going to just learn this in one go and then have it down. You're probably going to want to practice it a little bit. Don't spend hours on end practicing subnetting. That's no fun for anybody. But to get ready for the exam, you could just come on here and spend five or 10 minutes a day just working through a few problems. And if you do that for days or even weeks before the exam, you'll be fine when you get those subnetting questions. Another thing to tell you is on the real world, people don't do subnetting in their head, typically, if that wasn't obvious already. What we do is we use a subnet calculator. So what you can do is you can go to Google and in Google search, just search for subnet calculator and you'll see there is a heap of results that you will get. I'll just click on the top one here to show you an example. So what this is useful for is if you are doing subnetting in the real world, if you need to figure anything out, also if you're doing exam practice and you want to check that you got the answer right, you can just come in here, plug in the numbers, and it will give you the answer. Okay, that's it, subnetting done. Let's move on to some other features now. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad-free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.